What's going on guys? I'm Raymond Tiller and today I'm going to be giving you 8 tips to make your underwater videos better with your GoPro Hero 8. Pretty much the biggest reason the GoPro Hero 8 is the great camera that it is is because of Hypersmooth 2.0. Believe me when I say that the Hero 8 is the most stabilized camera ever made and that it makes a huge difference when filming. The biggest problem people face when making underwater videos is the lack of stabilization and Hypersmooth 2.0 fixes that. You can turn on Hypersmooth stabilization in your Hero 8 settings as it works with almost every resolution and frame rate. Using some sort of handle while filming underwater is a huge aspect, not only for stabilization, but for getting more cinematic shots. I recommend using a light tray while diving, as it helps with creating a smoother shot. Another great one to use is the underwater selfie stick, which helps you get your camera closer to some of the action. This is best used while snorkeling, because of how easy it is to carry around. It also allows for you to get a good shot of yourself while underwater. Another hugely important tip when going under the surface is to use dive filters. These filters help in every underwater setting to get rid of unnecessary and bland colors while bringing out some of the more vibrant ones. While diving in the ocean or any blue water, use a red dive filter which takes out most of the blue and brings out colors like red, orange, and yellow. When diving in fresh water or any greenish water, use the magenta filter which makes your footage look much more professional. Using different film settings in different situations is something that you need to have in mind when heading out to the water. When filming static objects like wrecks or in water with very low light, reduce the number of frames per second as it brings out more available light. When diving or snorkeling in a shallow reef with fast moving fish and more light, use a higher frames per second like at 120 or 240. Video resolution also matters when filming underwater. When snorkeling, I'd recommend using a lower resolution like 2.7K so you can use a higher frame rate to use things like slow motion and so you can capture all the action. But while diving, I'd recommend using a higher resolution with a lower frames per second as it makes your footage look more cinematic. Along with the Hero 8, GoPro announced a new media module that comes available with the camera. And on the media module comes a waterproof light that would be very helpful while shooting underwater. Using a light underwater always makes your shot look more cinematic, and with the media module you'll be able to have a light available at your convenience. Although the media module isn't available until December, it will still be a great tool to have when filming underwater. The biggest problem while filming underwater is stabilization, and maintaining neutral buoyancy while diving or even free diving and snorkeling really helps make your video less shaky and more smooth and cinematic. When free diving or snorkeling, try to hold on to something to stay neutrally buoyant as it really helps get a good underwater shot. Filming something like a fish from above just doesn't cut it as a good shot. Instead, try swimming down to your object to get more of a natural feel in your shot. Doing this also gets more of the object in your shot than it does from above. Before you enter the water, you should know what you could be filming and how you want to film it. Of course, nothing is guaranteed when you go in the ocean, but you should also know beforehand what you can expect. You should make adjustments like choosing a specific mounting figure depending on what you could be filming. Being prepared while filming underwater is key to making a good underwater video. 
Alright guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment down below what you think. And most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see me use this camera all around the world. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.